During the nonlinear decision-making processes of spaces three and four, how do we measure value and progress for a project that isn't bringing in any revenue and has no customers? Eric Ries, author of The Lean Startup, advocates this. To truly transform an organization and its way of working, we need to change our accounting systems too. We need to align finance with all other parts of the company being redesigned to further support the discovery and growth of innovative ideas. This new accounting system is called innovation accounting. Reese defines it like this. Innovation accounting is a way of evaluating progress when all metrics typically used in an established company like revenue, customers, return of investment, and market share are effectively zero. Reese knows that metrics and measuring performance is often a tricky science and has suggested that three organizational structures should be developed consecutively, each building on the last with further complexity. At the first level, the key is to start with metrics that are easy to track and relate to activities that are part of a digital project's development process. The purpose here is to keep the process of development closely aligned with user needs and feedback. Metrics like these act as a measure of the level of involvement of users during product development. While innovating, we have to make assumptions about the product and development in the market which is meant to receive it. Level two of innovation accounting is all about measuring the truth of those assumptions. There are generally two types of assumptions we make, value assumptions, what customers will get from the product, and growth assumptions, which is about how new people will find the product. Testing these assumptions is at the core of the Lean Startup approach, which is done through prototyping and minimum viable products used to guide the product's development path. We cover more about building, testing, and gaining validation through prototypes in this video's section of the Innovation Box workbook. The purpose of this level is to clarify the product's market fit and the readiness for scaling in that market. At the third level, we look at what the product in development is worth right now. Your business plan may aim for the product to be worth a specific amount in a certain amount of time, but the net present value is meant to tell you what it's worth now. Unlike conventional net present value calculations, which include assumptions around market size, market share, product costs, and so on, the innovation accounting net present value is based on long-term drivers of your product's future performance. The purpose of this third level is to create a focus on the product's financial performance. 